Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today I'm bringing you a quick video of just a quick, nice, natural lineup. Some one of my OG clients, one of my oh, yeah. first clients that was in Florida, he he don't like color at all. He just like it to be natural, but for it to be sharp. So I lost the majority of like my fading footage, but it's all good. Like if I lose any footage or whatever it is, I try to get you guys some form of content. I've been really busy lately trying to get everything together for you guys, but we got a banger right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a clean, natural lineup, beard, head, no color at all, and you know. For my color guys out there, I'm, you know, unfortunately sorry I'm not able to bring you guys that. But for my guys who don't like color, I'm giving you guys a natural lineup. So I'm starting with my Gamma Instincts behind the beard, you know, just doing my natural frame out work as I normally do. Then boom, I want to go right into my vertical bars because I want to establish dominance in this haircut. I know for a fact that the client is coming to me with no form of wanting color. So, I mean, you're going to have to step regardless. Like, that's just what, what I do. And I'm pretty sure any other barber, like, if you can't use color, you just going to make sure that you super crispy when it comes to the natural form of it. You know, just trying to keep it natural, keep it clean as possible. But also make sure that you give him, you know, a really, really, really clean lineup. So, I left everything in speed, oh, yeah. as you guys can see. We got a 10-minute video. For me, usually lineups is about 10, 15 minutes at most. If I add color, I may add another 15 minutes. But for this one specifically, it's like a 10-minute lineup. So color would have been an additional, like, two to three minutes, actually, because it's spray. I'm just thinking about it. Like, I did the pencil and everything, and it still came out to, like, 10 minutes. So yeah, lineups is usually, like, fairly fast. So I'm working on my C cups right here using the corner of my blade, you know, just trying to ensure I'm getting a nice pronounced C and I'm just really tapping it in, you know, just trying to stay focused and trying to, you know, bring it all the way together right here. And as you guys can see, it's coming together really clean, just cleaning up this area right here, staying focused and just trying to get this joint to come together. Like I said before, like when it comes to this cutting thing, it's all about like, you know, staying focused and it's all about, you know, having intent. Whatever your intentions is, you know, you just gotta make them true behind the haircut. And boom, I'll reset myself in the front. Cause one thing I'm noticing, like the client's head shape is what's giving his line up like this, like weird look. But at the end of the day, we're gonna get it directly together. At the end of the day, like this is what we do as barbers. Like, you know, no matter what task is put in front of us, we handle it accordingly and we stay focused and that's just how it go. I feel a little nauseous, my hands are shaking. Just slowly but surely nudging it in. Let me give a big shout out to my dog, oh, yeah. only one lead for this beat. Fire beat. Um you know, I had lost a lot of my beats in my last video. I was telling y'all, Lee had booted me up with a bunch of beats now. And, um, we just been working, man. We been working. Hardest part about, like, this whole thing is, man, I really, really, really want to get this music out to you guys. And, uh, it's just been difficult for me, man. Like, I'm having a real difficult time with finding, like, you know, an engineer that, like, fits me best. They could get my vocal chain how I want it to be. Um, but it's over 40, 50 songs that I got in a clip for you guys. Like, I'm ready for a whole tape and everything. And I'm, you know, I really don't like even talking about the music and just throwing it in front of y'all eyes when it's not coming out. Like, it's really, like, getting on my nerves. But I know this is a part of the journey, finding somebody who can mix and who can master to my liking. So, um, yeah, I'm just having a difficult time, but I'm trying to stay consistent for you guys, and I'm trying to give you guys new content, um, and I just really, really, really just can't wait for you guys to hear the music, like, I'm just thinking about it in my head, if it wasn't for you guys, I'd have never started my musical journey, like, I would have never started to, you know, write on wax, I would have never started melodies and things of that nature, so... All my YouTube, you know, my family, I want to tell you guys like that. I love you and I appreciate you guys so much. Because I've been working really hard behind the scenes on this music. And when it come out, I promise y'all just going to be so proud. Y'all going to be like, this dude really did it. And, um, yeah, man, you know, I'm just having an engineer problem. So I'm trying to get it down packed. I'm trying to get it right. I'm trying to get the perfect vocal chain. And, um, once that's ready, we can start working on Cover art and 
videos for you guys Cause I'm not the type of guy who's gonna drop audio only So I'm dropping videos with every With everything that comes out So I just hope you guys like it But I did step away from the haircut for a while So I'm gonna come back with a Tune 45 Precision Pack Pencil As you guys know In my description below You can hit the link And when you hit that link My discount code is attached to the link so you don't have to type it in and you can get pencils color compressors compressor cleaner shave gel whatever you want from tune 45 the ecosystem the charging system for the clippers like you get everything discounted if you you know hit that link in my description and go buy your products now i'm not trying to push products on nobody because i'm pretty sure all you guys who've been watching tune 45 for like the last couple years y'all know that we make some nice quality products and we make the real deal so oh, yeah, you know if you do want to stop by you want to get some products go ahead slide the tune 45 website using my link in my description um and using my referral and i promise you guys to get a discount and you'll love the product so as you guys can see create nice thin lines clean lines i really wish i caught this fade stuff man because it's looking really good so i'm going in with my snap fx's now and i want to blend my line with my snap snap fx's i'm just more comfortable with blending my line with these clippers than the instincts because i know how much pressure i can you know put on the client's head with these and as you guys can see i'm not pushing these at all i'm just letting them tap his head and i'm bouncing right off and I'm just letting the clippers ricochet you know that color and disperse it across his skin because at the end of the day I got some very 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 sharp clippers and the biggest mistake I could ever make would be pressing into a client's head like I like my clippers flush and you're not even supposed to use them flush but when you find your secrets of why you do things you know you got to use it like that as you guys can see I'm just putting the clippers there and letting them do it like I'm not pushing at all I'm very, very, very precise with this, but I'm very careful on client skin. Also, I'm in Tampa, Florida, man. Any of my subscribers that's out here, like, my clientele list ain't super full. So any of my guys, any of my women, any of my kids, my teenagers that's out here in Tampa, Florida, like, let me know something. Say y'all name in the comment section or something. Let's set up an appointment today. Like, it be times where I go to the shop and, you know, I only cut two, three people, you know, because it's fresh after the holidays so haircuts aren't really spinning like that but for people that's looking for new barbers in the tampa florida area or even if you're in the orlando area and you don't mind taking that hour and a half drive to tampa i'm available all days of the week like you know i'm in my grind mode right now i'm still establishing my clientele you know our shop just opened up in sun lake i'll have the uh i'll have the location to that you know somewhere on the screen here but um if you guys hit me up because i'm appointment only hit me up like we could do it through instagram we could do it through facebook we could do it through email we could do it through whatever you guys want to do it through um let me know something i want new clients i want new haircuts you know and i'm down for it i need some more footage for youtube things of that nature if you're in the tampa area man let me know if you're willing to drive down or fly down you know i could set up something nice for you guys as well so Man, bro, if you want to get a haircut by me, I'm in Tampa, Florida, and I'm ready to go. My chair set up, my booth set up, my camera set up. I'm locked in. So if y'all want to go ahead, y'all want to come rock with me, come rock with me. But as you guys can see, I'm just staying consistent, stretching the skin, angling that raise at a 45-degree angle, bringing everything back to the client's lineup, and just trying to, you know, stay apart. No color at all, but... Who's to say we can't get crispy without color? It's a lot of people in my comment section who try to throw shade and things of that nature. I'm only good because I use color like crazy. Like, when it come to being precise, you either built for this or you not. And, like, I'm pretty sure all my people who truly support me know me. Like, I'm surgical with this. Like, I'm super surgical with it, especially when I got a razor in my hand. And when I'm going for a beer, like, I'm a different level of consistent, man. Like, I love all of my people that's on YouTube. I love everybody. I'm not even gonna name people because y'all gonna feel like I'm talking about certain people. But I love everybody on YouTube. I watch everybody footage when it comes out. But when it comes to this straight raisin, this beer work, like, come on, bro. Next to none. And the reason that I'm next to none is because I truly enjoy this. Like, I truly enjoy geometry, shapes, obtuse, right angles. Like, 
I enjoy angles. I enjoy creating clean, clean, crispy lines. Like, that's what I do. That's what sets Beam apart. What set me apart is these, like, motivational speaks that I have through my commentary. Shout out to you guys for the beats and things of that nature. It's the beats that make me like that. And it's my precision when it comes to using this straight razor. I'm a bad man. It took me a long time to grow into that, to know that I was that. But I'm him, for real. And any of you upcoming barbers who want to be that, this is all practice, bro. Like, I was in a point in time where... I wasn't the most precise, I wasn't the most consistent, but it's all shots. Like, with Curry being the best shooter in the league, you think he goes to the gym and only shoot 10, 15 shots? That boy's still putting up thousands of shots daily. Like, that's the difference. The greats will continuously practice at a level as if they not, they not even at that level to keep that status and that's what it's about just stay in the gym keep hooping keep doing what you need to do stay focused and i promise you gonna either be as sharp as me or you gonna be sharper than me and i don't mind any of my people that follow me being sharper or better than me because that's what i'm supposed to do if i'm a real educator if i'm a really good educator i should want you guys to be better than me and that's what i want i want you guys to chase chase this i want you guys to be bigger than i ever was you know and i'm you know just trying to be a part of you guys chapter a part of you guys reason of being you know precise so you know let's see what the client think Yeah. I can't have a work for it. Oh, what's that? Nah, I definitely look good. Like the line of all, like everything. Alright, that's a bad.